Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Michelle. And I'm Ken, and today we're here to run down our top five movies of 2023 so far. Thus far. Yep, we're about halfway through mm -hmm. 2023 already, which is crazy. Um, and yeah, we're going to share some of our favorites. Yeah, we are. I will say, though, I hope the second half is a little bit better than the first half. I, I struggled a little bit to make this list. Gotcha. But before yep. we get into it, uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. We cover uh, movies and TV and entertainment news and all that fun stuff. Yeah. Um, and then... Like the video. Like the video, like she said. And then leave us a comment down below. We want to know your top five, your top ten. If you want to leave us a top... Uh, 25. Let's get into it. Number five. Do you want to go first? Me go yeah, first? Yeah, so my number five is a movie called Air. Okay. Yep. Um, Air was good. Yeah, we ended up watching this on Prime. Yes. Yeah, it came yes. out on Prime. Uh, we didn't make it to the theater to see it. But uh, yeah, I enjoyed this one. It was one of those, you know, just simple, turn off your brain uh, and watch type of movies. Uh, we don't get a ton of those nowadays. You know, there's usually like superheroes or... Yeah. you know horror or this was just one of those nice simple feel good movies inspirational movies and i really enjoyed it it's a nice what i like to call a saturday afternoon watch yeah, well, let's get into my number five and that is across the spider verse okay is is my number five so i enjoyed this movie quite a bit but i didn't um love it like i was hoping to mm -hmm. and i think that that played into it kind of not being higher up on my list gotcha. uh, i did really enjoy it but it just I don't know. I need to rewatch it. Maybe when the next one comes out, it'll uh, change my opinion on it. But right now, it's number five. It's still it's still a pretty good spot for that movie, I think. All right. Um, so my number four is Transformers: Rise of the Beast. Uh, I was really excited when you know I saw that this was coming out. We made it to the theater to see it, which I'm glad that we did because it was definitely one of those movies that I feel like you kind of want to see on the big screen. Um, and yeah, it was just, I had a lot of fun with it. It was just a good time and, you know, lots of good action uh, moments. And uh, it was just a fun family movie that we saw in the theater. So I enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah, for sure. And uh, my number four is Air. Okay. <laughs> uh, for all the reasons that I brought up earlier. Just mm -hmm. a fun afternoon watch movie. I mm -hmm. think it had some good performances. I think Matt Damon and Viola Davis uh should definitely be considered for, you know, the Oscar awards yep. and stuff like that. They were definitely very good in it. And, yeah, I enjoyed that movie quite a bit. So I put Air at my number four. Yeah, and you can't forget that killer soundtrack, which I know you didn't killer soundtrack. You didn't love. No, but... I liked it. I thought it fit with that movie. Yeah, um, you said it was a little over overdone, though. They definitely... I liked it. You I could tell it. they had some money to play with, and they used it mm. on, the, on the soundtrack yeah. for sure. Uh, but good movie. Um, okay, so my number three is actually a movie that... I kind of forgot about until you mentioned it for some reason I don't know it I didn't realize that it came out this year for some reason um, but my number three is Megan okay yeah Megan this was I don't know we also made it to the theater to see Megan. that was our first movie that we saw in 2023 yeah it came the out theater. in January I guess yeah. and so yeah this movie was just a lot of fun I'm excited for more Megans, you know, they Megan say Megan too. Yeah, there's going to be another Megan, and so I don't know. I thought Megan that it was Megan recharged. Maybe it'll be the next one. <laughs> that that could work, <laughs> but yeah, I just thought that this was a lot of fun. You know, it's uh, I think we kind of when we did the reviews like move over Chucky. There's a new Dawn town. Yeah, uh, she's definitely not Chucky, but I feel like she's pretty. You know. Megan's I, a little sassy. Yeah, I feel yeah, like... she could hang with Chucky. Yeah, and it, I really dig, like, the whole technology stuff and, um, you know, artificial intelligence and what it could do to you. And Let's go ahead and get into my number three. That's where we're at, right? Number three? You're number three, yeah. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. All right. Uh, was my number three. And, yeah, thinking about it, like, a lot of these movies really are, like, probably, like, dead even. But mm -hmm. I feel like this one... Um, just had that little something extra to it. It was the closing to a trilogy, and I just yeah. thought that they did a really good job uh, closing out this Guardian saga. I'm not like the biggest Guardians of the Galaxy fan right. or anything, uh, but I just thought this was a really nice closing chapter, and they did really good work here. So I gotta, I gotta give it to James Gunn. All the rocket, the rocket raccoon. I said rocket raccoon. Rocket raccoon stuff just really worked well. So yeah. I enjoyed the movie a lot. That's my number three. All right, well, I'll just get into my number two, which is Guardians. There you um, go. Yeah, I really enjoyed this movie. It was a little bit of a downer. It was, a you know, a little bit more serious. But then at the same time, there were a lot of moments that I was laughing. 
um, that was, you know, really funny to me and worked for me and, um, you know, didn't come off too corny and yeah. like sometimes the, the Marvel stuff can do, sometimes their jokes don't always land. They kind of just fall flat, but I don't know. It just really yeah. works in guardians for me because I don't know. It tends to be a more comedic kind of, yeah, it was set up uh, that way. So it yeah. works. So, um, it was just a lot of fun, a lot of great action, a lot of great music. Like you said, the whole, you know, rocket got his own little storyline. Definitely pulled at the heartstrings. Yeah. That whole corridor action sequence where yeah. they play the beastie boy song. Like that was a right. really well done, uh, sequence. Yeah. Uh, getting into my number two, this one kind of surprised me, but I just really enjoyed this movie and mm -hmm. had a lot of nostalgia. Uh, with me, and that was Transformers: Rise of the Beasts. Wow. Okay. Uh, so that that's my number two. See, what I'm talking about like all these movies. I feel like like my five through two are like really close together, uh, but this one's just got that extra layer of nostalgia. I remember watching Beast Wars when I was a kid, and mm -hmm. I loved all the Optimus Primal and and Cheetor and all yeah. that stuff. So it was cool seeing them in live action, and I actually thought this was just a really well done movie. Mm -hmm. So I, I enjoyed a good action set pieces, and way better than every single Michael Bay. Yeah. Uh, Transformers movie, so I, I enjoy this one a lot. That's my number two. Okay, well, I think we all know what my number one is. Oh, right. What is it? And it's it's Mario. Oh, I thought you were gonna say <laughs> <skin -a -ma> <laughs> <laughs> Um, It's uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie. Um, this, you know, it's it definitely might be a nostalgia thing, but I was so excited for this movie. I thought that it looked so good. You know, we went and saw in the theater with our family. Um, even your mom came with us. Yep. And um, the it wasn't a disappointment. It met my expectations. I was just smiling the whole entire time. And so you really just can't beat that or match that. Yeah. Um, as far as being my number one, I don't know if anything's going to, you know, replace it for the rest of the year either. Um, Mario's just my homie, you know? I just remember leaving to to go to the bathroom or maybe like get another drink or something. I can't mm -hmm. quite remember. And then I came back and when I looked up and saw you all sitting there, I saw mm -hmm. you sitting there with a big smile on your face. Yeah. Like a big goofy smile. Yeah. Uh, so I knew you enjoyed that movie a lot. Yeah. Uh, it did not make my top five, but I did enjoy yeah. uh, the Super Mario Brothers movie quite a bit as well. Yeah. Lo love me some Mario in the gaming world and, and the movie world. So yeah, a absolutely. Lot of fun. Uh, my number one is is Infinity Pool. Um, I, I really did enjoy Boo. this movie. And this is honestly Again, my with number. Your list. I <laughs> literally want to strangle you. This is the only one to me that just really stood out. Like, I I don't know. I just really like this one a lot. I like the weirdness. I like a good horror movie. And I like a good sci-fi movie. Mm. And I like them blended together. Mm -hmm. I just like that vibe. And I think that Brandon Cronenberg just does such a great job with it. Mm -hmm. Um and I don't know, I just dug this movie a lot. And every time I think about it, it just kind of grows on me a little bit. I thought it was a really cool story. Like, uh, we both like the show Black Mirror. And it, it kind of reminds me of like a Black Mirror type story. I don't even feel like you rated it that highly. I actually rated all these movies exactly the same. Oh, <laughs> I gave them all four. So. Okay. Uh, but I do feel like at the end of the day, Infinity Pool is the one that sticks out in my brain. And it's just that when I look at everything else, Spider-Verse, Guardians of the Galaxy, Transformers, they're all good movies and mm -hmm. I enjoyed them all, but they're all action-y, adventure, comic book-y type films mm -hmm. that did, didn't add in that extra for me. Okay. Um, that Infinity Pool did. So I put that above everything else. I know you said that you weren't very excited. It didn't seem like there was a lot of good stuff that came out, but I don't know. I don't. It's not been we terrible. We really have seen a lot this year, though. Mm -hmm. We really have. I think we've seen, yeah, probably about 30 movies have really sat down and, and thought about it. Yeah, that, that's going to do it for our top five of the year thus far. Hopefully, you know, we can end the second half of the year with a a bang and yeah. you know we've definitely got some good ones coming we've got barbie and oppenheimer and mission um, insidious impossible. mission impossible i also have not seen john wick chapter four and i i really want to watch that i feel like yeah. that might have made my list if i'd seen that but gotcha yeah um but yeah that's uh that's 2023 so far as far as we're concerned hit mm -hmm. the like button hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and again comment down below your top five your top ten uh, whatever you want to comment down below, let us know what some of your favorite movies of 2023 are so far, and we'll see you guys later. Bye.